Peggy 7. Hello, everyone. You may recognize me from previous WeFit titles, and once again, I'll be your trainer in WeFit U. Care to join me for a quick training exercise? This will ensure maximum viewing pleasure. For the first step, raise your elbows to chest height. Focus on keeping your palms open, like this. Control your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now face forward, and when the countdown hits zero, swiftly throw your hands directly out in front of you. Three, two, one, directly. Good, one more time. Directly, feel the power in your fingertips. Directly. Okay, that was some really nice work. Our bodies are sufficiently ready. My work here is done. Take it away, Mr. Awada. Once again, hello everyone. This is Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. Today, we will provide information to you directly about Wii Fit U. The Wii Fit series uses the Wii Balance Board accessory to help train users in a fun, game-like setting. The idea is to promote general well-being by improving balance and strength, while encouraging healthy lifestyle choices by supplying graphs and tracking changes in weight and BMI. In addition to new dance workouts, the new Wii Fit U software includes 19 new training activities, many taking advantage of the Wii U gamepad for a total of 77 different activities. And some of you may have noticed the trainer is sporting a slightly new look. Her hairstyle has changed for more athletic look. I hope her newfound sense of style inspires you to achieve a more active lifestyle. Are you ready to try it yourself? Let's do it together. In Refit U, with this fit mirror, you can now check the estimated number of calories you burn while you are on the go. The fit meter is not a kido meter. It's actually an activity meter that uses a three-axis accelerometer to calculate not only the number of steps you have taken, but also your intensity during exercise. It also includes a pressure sensor, so it can measure changes in altitude. This makes it possible to calculate the number of calories you've burned more accurately during certain activities like climbing up and down stairs, which can be difficult for most activity meters to measure. Because the fit meter is attached at the hip, it helps to decrease the measurement error caused by arm movement in more common activity meters which are worn on the wrist. And on the fit meter screen, you get more than just a simple calorie counter you can display the number of steps you've taken, how many calories you wish to burn, and elevation changes experienced since leaving your house, time, temperature, and for that day, changes per minute in exercise intensity measured in METs, along with an elevation graph. All this comes in addition to being able to record and graph roughly one month of calories burned with the fit meter. This data can be transferred to your Wii U system via the IR port on the Wii U gamepad. The Wii Fit U software can then be used to monitor graphs that go into far more detail than merely displaying how many calories you've burned. Now, I'd like to show you how one of our employees spent his day using actual data from his fit meter. The line graph shows changes in altitude, and the bar graph shows the energy cost of physical activities, which is measured in METs. Different colors on the bar graph indicate 
what activities were performed at the time, such as running, walking, climbing up, and climbing down. On this particular day, our employee hiked up a small mountain close by work to test out the fit meter. Now let's track his activity as we follow along with the timeline. Right around 9 o'clock, we can see that he set off on foot for Mount Inari. It's located a little over a mile away from the office, nearby the famous Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto. As such, you can see a lot of blue in the bar graph here at the beginning, which indicates that he was walking. But then, it immediately turns red, and red means running. When I asked him why he started to pick up the pace here, well, he said he had to cross a road that a lot of cars passed through. And since the crossing signal looked like it was going to change, he had to pick up the pace. Naturally, the bar graph is also taller here because his exercise intensity went up when he began to run. Finally, it looks like he reached Ushimi Inari Shrine right here, where the blue graph ends. Looks like it took him about 20 minutes, doesn't it? After that, we see some big changes, namely in line graph which shows elevation change and in the bar graph has turned orange which shows exercise intensity. Orange indicates climbing, so we can safely assume he started climbing up the mountain at this point. The bar graph is pretty tall through this climbing section, which means his uphill battle caused an increase in exercise intensity. Luckily for our employee, we can see that he arrived safely at the peak around 10 o'clock. Judging by his stabilized elevation and the blue graph, which suggests a lack of activity, you can tell he must have hung around at the peak for a while to take in the view. The game's producer did say to give him a call when he reached the top so that probably explains it. He also gave him orders to take a picture at Mount Inari's peak to prove he was there. You are looking at the photo he took right now. He likely started back down the mountain after hanging up the phone. The green bar graph here shows him climbing down. As you can see, it's pretty clear how much exercise intensity differs when going downhill as opposed to going up. Obviously, you don't have to climb a mountain to use the fit meter. We did so to illustrate a point, but the fit meter can capture data like we've seen today and calculate the number of calories burned for any kind of activity, even everyday ones like climbing up and down stairs or walking up a hill on the way to work. Moving along, it seems like the producer told our fearless employee to stop by one more place. It looks here like he's headed for his next objective. It was pretty far away, so he used a bus. So of course, he's not walking. That explains the low exercise intensity. As you may have noticed, the graph will not calculate for walking or running when you are traveling in a car, even if it's for a long distance. At this point, we see a big change in the graph. I think he must have arrived. If you look closely, you can see only a change in the line graph representing elevation. The bar graph expressing exercise intensity shows almost no change at all. As it turns out, he was headed to Kyo Tower, the tallest building in the city. The elevator ride up resulted in a big elevation change, but almost no exercise intensity to speak of. It makes sense he didn't use the stairs after all. 
So even when there's a major change in elevation, but not much in physical activity, it won't result in drastic change to the bar graph, as was the case in this elevator. This demonstrates the precision that's possible in measuring calories burned with the fit metal. It seems he took one last picture. And look, you can see, Nintendo's headquarters. Our faithful employee is probably pretty tired after all that moving around. Nothing a relaxing day of desk work at the office can fix. As we previously mentioned, the fit meter can give you a great picture of your daily activity in terms of exercise intensity as well as elevation change. You can transfer this graph data to your Wii U and store up to 50 days worth at a time. I've found that I often look back at old graphs to check things like exercise intensity and elevation change. Sometimes I end up remembering what I was doing on a particular day, so this data may be useful for more reasons than merely keeping you active. Keep in mind that if the number of calories you burnt falls short of your daily goal, WeFitU has a built-in feature that recommends training options to make up for the calories you are unable to burn. With this feature, you can combine your daily activity out of the house with training at home using WeFitU for well-rounded fitness support. There's also a separate mode that displays your steps taken or altitude in relation to the jogging courses of famous cities or actual mountain trails. Your fit meter collects this data while you are out. So as you can see here, the goal is to accumulate steps every day, maybe even enough to climb up huge mountains like Mount Everest. The fit meter will be released on November 1st. And make sure to take advantage of the game's online functionality. With Miiverse, you can create a gym community with other players that share similar goals, so you can stay motivated to continue working out by encouraging each other. Even if you have a hard time keeping up with your diet and workout routine on your own, if you can communicate with others via Miiverse while you are working out, you might be inspired to continue your training. If you create a closed community with only your close friends, you might be able to talk more freely about sensitive issues like detail weight changes and so on, issues you might have a hard time sharing openly on Miiverse. This time, we will be offering a one-month free trial of Wii Fit U for Wii U owners who already have Wii Fit or Wii Fit Plus. In other words, those with a Wii Balance board at home already will be able to try out Wii Fit U free of charge for one month. You can download Wii Fit U from Nintendo eShop free of charge from November 1st to January 31st of 2014. Don't let the world's trial program fool you. What we are distributing is not a demo version. It contains every mode available in the game. However, you can only use it for a month, beginning the day you first start up on your system. With this free trial version of VPU, if you purchase a fit meter and pair it up with your Wii U system, you can continue to enjoy playing with it you even after your one month trial is over. We hope you will try with it you during this trial period. And if you like it, please consider purchasing a fit mail. There's one point of caution I like to mention when you download with it you. Due to the large size of the with it you software, the Wii U basic pack system and other systems which already have a lot of data in storage may not be able to download and store the software. 
If your system is short on storage space, please consider getting an external storage device before downloading. After the free trial period is over, we will replace the one-month free trial version with the normal version in Nintendo eShop beginning February 1st of 2014. It will not have a one-month usage limitation, and of course, you will be able to continue using the game without a fit meter. From December 6th, we will offer a unique set for purchase at retail that includes the normal VC2 disk version software and the fit meter, as well as the set that includes VC2 disk version, fit meter, and the Wii Balance board. In summary, if you have a Wii Balance board and Wii U system, and if you participate in the one month free trial, you can continue using Wii Fit U simply by purchasing a fit meter. Please check the official Nintendo site for more details. While we are on the topic of the Wii Balance board, there is another title I would like to mention today. Last February, we released Wii Street U, which lets you view 360-degree panoramas of locations all around the world through Google Maps by simply pointing your Wii U gamepad in the direction you want to look. We have already updated this software several times since its release, and this time we have another update for you. This update will enable you to use the balance board while standing right in front of your TV to walk around in locations all over the world. All you have to do is take steps in place on the balance board to move forward. As you take steps on the balance board, the screen will move up and down as though you are walking in real life to help immerse you in the scene more than ever. When you want to turn, all you have to do is shift your weight to change direction. The new update adding Wii Balance Board compatibility to Wii Street U will become available after this presentation is over. Please enjoy taking a walk in cities from all over the world without leaving the comfort of your living room. Wii Street U is available in Nintendo eShop for free until October 31st. If you have not downloaded it, please try it at this opportunity. There is one more title I would like to talk about today. What we are looking at right now is Wii Sports, which has released alongside the Wii hardware in 2006. We have updated all five sports included in Wii Sports. Tennis, bowling, baseball, golf, and boxing. And we released them as a download title on Wii U. This title is Wii Sports Club. In the newly enhanced Wii Sports Club, each sport will work exclusively with Wii Motion Plus technology. This will allow for even more refined control than the original for a Wii Sport that feels better than ever. Additionally, we have added an online versus multiplayer mode which we receive many requests for from fans. So you can face off against other players, even you are home alone. As the name Wii Sports Club suggests, playing this game will feel like joining a local sports club. That's because the online versus mode will have you playing as a registered member of your state or regional club. The game supports simple communication during matches using special integrated Miiverse functionality. You can compete casually with other players in your club or face off in serious matches against rival club members to battle it out over a high position in the club rankings. Once you download the Wii Sports Club software, it will serve as a hub from which you can select various sports to purchase in-game. Wii Sports Club will be available for download on November 7th, as will the option to buy and download the sports, tennis and bowling. 
There will be two purchase options for Wii Sports Club. The first is called a single sport pass. This option lets you purchase each sport as you would any download software. The second is a day pass, a sort of visitor ticket that will give you unlimited access to all available sports for a 24-hour period. Please select the purchase method that works best for you. Keep in mind that we will also be providing a Wii Sports Club trial pass free of charge. This pass will let you try out any of the available sports for a 24-hour period beginning when you first start up the game. That's it for today's presentation. Thank you for sticking with us until the end.